So today we're gonna to be doing a lower unit replacement. First things first, make sure that your cart is turned off. Either unplug your motor from your boat or flip the breaker on your boat. So for your tools, you're gonna to need a heat source. I'm using a heat gun today, it makes it a lot easier. You're gonna need side cutters, a flathead, a larger Phillips, and then also a smaller Phillips, your heat shrink, and then your zip ties, and also the lower unit that we sent you. I'm gonna be using drills today. If you are using drills, just be sure to adjust it and make sure that it is at its lowest setting. So first step is to take out the four screws on the head. So it's just four up here. Get your side cutters, and you're gonna to wanna to undo your connections here. You're gonna cut away the zip ties. And you're also gonna cut away the heat shrink. Just to make it a little bit easier, you can take out this board up here. It's the MCV. Just set that off to the side. So you're gonna to wanna to remove this ferrite. So now you have more room to work with. So now you can just undo your connections here. Just cut away from yourself. And you can just pull it off for now. Same thing on the other side. So you undo your connections there. You can clean up this side now. So we're gonna have fresh heat shrink. Let's just cut that off. Now that's done. We can unplug your MCB. So next we're gonna remove the head bolt screw. For this, I recommend using a screw gun. It's gonna be the larger Phillips. We'll just undo that. Make sure this nut on this side doesn't fall in the water. So just come right out. So this will come down. You'll pull the head sleeve off, O-ring, save that. Put everything in your list so you don't misplace anything. Slide off like that. Take off depth collar. Now you can take out the lower unit. And that should just slide right out. And then you'll grab your new lower unit. And it's just reverse. You'll just slide it back in. Just slide it in all the way. You gotta take your depth collar. When you put your depth collar on, make sure that these teeth are facing down towards the bottom like this. They go here, and that's a control that which grabs this so you can steer your steering box. So slide this in. Just tighten that all the way down for now so your lower unit doesn't slide out. So now we'll just do it backwards. We're gonna put this on first. And then the O-ring, put that on. And just right above the holes there, take your sleeve. Just put that in there. So you'll take your flathead and you'll push your O-ring in there. It should be pretty easy. Shouldn't have to fight it too much. Push this all the way down and line up your holes. So from here, you're gonna pull your head on. When you first slid it on, make sure that this end matches the prop. If you stow your motor, you're gonna notice it's stowed probably this way, and this end of the plastic needs to line up. If you put it on, 
and your head is facing like this and you secure it on, your motor is just gonna spin in circles and circles trying to catch up with itself. Make sure everything is lined up. You can take your bolt and start it by hand first, just to get it. This part's a lot easier with the drill. You just find it and ease it in. You're gonna separate your power wires so that one of the power wires is at the top and one of them is at the bottom. And then you're gonna run your bolt all the way through. You take your nut from earlier, put that in there. And it should just go right on nice and easy. If it's not going on easy, the head is crooked, so you gotta adjust it a little bit, but it should just go right nice and just give it a couple clicks. Not too hard, you don't wanna break your plastic. So next you'll take your heat shrink, put your black to black. Make sure your connections are nice and even in the middle. Take your red to white. Next, you're gonna take your heat source. I have a heat gun. You don't wanna keep it in the same spot for too long. Make sure your connections are still tight. Just kind of work it around. If you keep it in the same spot for too long, you could start melting plastic a little bit. So you just kind of move it around. So I like to let them cool down a little bit before you zip tie them together. Cause if you zip tie them together too quick, this will melt together and later on, it'll cause a short and it'll could damage the system. We took this ferrite off earlier. This is important to put these back on. If you don't put these on your system, it's possible it doesn't work properly. Take one of your zip ties, it goes here. Kind of push this back and this holds that in place back there. Take your other zip tie, and now it's cool enough. Zip tie back here. Put one in the middle. Just to keep it all nice and snug. So we'll cut this off. Cut your zip tie ends off. Here, you'll take your MCB. There's a slot here. And then there's a slot here. So those line up, so you just kind of, I got lucky there, but if you, sometimes it doesn't go. We've gotten motors come in and people have forced these in. So you just, just find it, slide it in, no resistance. Tighten this up, doesn't have to be crazy tight, just, you know. Take two screws, all your screws should be in your top cover. If you're using a screw gun, make sure it's on the lowest setting. These screws are the small ones. Put the top one in first. Then you can put the bottom one in. These are just to hold the board and so they don't have to be real tight. Double check everything, make sure black is black, red is white, everything's in its place. We'll go ahead and do a function test. So you take your depth collar. So I can go ahead and deploy the unit. Go ahead and power it up. And we're gonna double check and make sure that we have thrust and reverse. So you push forward, it should go counterclockwise. When you push reverse, three, it should go clockwise. Go ahead and power the system off. Put it back in the stowed position. Now we can put the top cover back on. So it's just four screws. I like to put this one in first. Do the back one. And you put your depth collar back down to the bottom. Give everything a wipe down. And that's how you do a lower unit replacement.